This video is brought to you today by Aniba.com. Aniba.com is a digital marketplace with over 20,000 digital products. Here you can get some of the greatest deals in some of the most popular games, new or old. It doesn't matter if you play on Nintendo, PlayStation or Xbox or PC, there's sure to be something that suits your needs. And you can navigate your site fairly easy. You can filter by a platform, by a genre, by a region and by price. So you can only see what you wish to see. You can also add games to your wish list so you can Come and get that at a later date like i wish to grab myself a copy of outriders which is currently going at a great price enter my discount code which is currently bang or buck to give yourself a further three percent off choose your payment method of choice once you've purchased your key all you have to do is redeem your product copy your code this version's a Steam game, so all you gotta do is open Steam, go to games, activate product on Steam, paste in your key, and then your game will be added to your library. As you can see, Outriders has been added to my library and is currently downloading. Quick and easy, no fuss. Hopefully this saves you guys a little bit of money. Welcome back to the channel guys. So now I'll be unboxing the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme RTX 3090 graphics card. And it is quite the beast. If you just have a look at the size of this box, it's one of the biggest boxes I've ever had when it comes to a graphics card. So let's just have a quick walk around the box. So some of the highlighting features are RGB Fusion 2.0, max covered cooling, obviously 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X and four years limited warranty. Uh, the box art, we've all kind of got used to the Aorus kind of theme style stuff. I guess it's like an eagle that they're going for. So I'm just gonna quickly take a look at the back of the box and see if they got any other bits of information. So they kind of expand on that max covered cooling, wind claw style. So you've got two fans that spin the same direction. The one in the middle spins opposite. Uh, there's a slight cutout for extra cooling and they highlight the LCD edge view where you can have a programmed, I guess a GIF or some kind of picture. And it also displays information like GPU temperature, clock speed, and uh, power draw, things like that. So it's a interesting little feature for some people. Let me see if I can get my Nightmare Avatar on there. That'd be pretty cool, we'll see. And uh, they highlight on the RBG Fusion. Not something I'm terribly interested in, to be honest. You also get a little kind of Aorus Gigabyte little figure, I guess. It's their Monica. So, hey, it's something. I'll just put it on my desk somewhere. So one thing I want to note as well, which is pretty special about the card, it actually has six display options. Now, two of the HDMIs are 2.1s, and the one in the middle is HDMI 2.0. So just be aware, they're not all... HDMI 2.1 and I believe it's DisplayPort 1.4 so you acquired a lot of flexibility for connectivity there so yeah that is the box let's see what's inside opening the box you're greeted with another envelope with the Aorus uh, insignia on it this usually just contains a quick start guide and more information on uh, extended warranty so I believe with this your warranty this out four years warranty just got to register the card within 30 days of purchase that shouldn't be a problem uh, let's move this out of the way very very protective well, very very thick protective foam in should I say um, so shouldn't be any damage while this was in transit so you get this little action figure let's have a look at it so it's like a I can't even stand up straight, so I'm gonna have to hold it. It's like a little bird. Looks like they're Aorus kind of eagle. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So I'll find a place for that somewhere. I'm not gonna be using the case badge though, but nice for them to throw it in. Get that out there. And of course we have the beast itself, the Aorus RTX 3090 Extreme. This is a four slot card, would you believe? But it shouldn't be a problem for my thermal take view 
71 case. Let's try and get this out. And she's got a fat ass. Well, I'm not complaining. And look at this thing. Okay. So I'm just going to move the box so you guys can have a better look um, at the card itself. Let's put that out of the way. So this is the card. Wow, what a beast. I've never seen a card this big before. To be honest, my 6900 XT Merc is pretty big in length. But this thing, this is taking it to another level. Okay, here's the card itself and this thing is an absolute behemoth. Look at the size of this thing. It really is indeed four slots and I really hope the mounting mechanism is up to it. I really don't want to see any GPU sag so We'll see how that goes. So, triple eight pin PCI Express connector, max power draw or TDP limit 450 watt. Of course, that should allow for better headroom than the Founders Edition, but we'll see. It's not always that simple. Um, you've got the MV Link uh, finger at the top if you wish to put these in a dual uh, GPU configuration, which would just be insane. Uh, let's have a look at the card itself. So, I think these fans are all different sizes. So, 211mm at the outside, and the, mill the one in the middle is 10, I believe, and it spins the opposite direction. So, it creates a kind of vacuum effect. Should be interesting to see the temps on this thing. But, yeah, I'm very very impressed with the the uh, display on hand it's uh, it's something to behold really it's so big and of course you've got quite a lot of uh, display outputs to choose from but yeah enough said let's get this thing in the case and all powered up uh, so you guys can have a quick look So here is a look at a card all powered up, as you can see barely fitting in my uh, Thermaltake 70, U71, just about um, fitting beside my reservoir so <laughs> it was quite snug but it just about uh, fitted in so I, I'm happy with that and uh, you know, looking forward to seeing what this thing can do. So this was a quick look at the Gigabyte Aorus RTX Virgin IT Extreme quite uh, the card and uh, hopefully it performs as well as it looks and uh, try and justify some of that price tag. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.